And of course, we have, from the more mature generation, we moved to the young generation of scientists, because obviously there was so much interest, uh, certainly throughout this year, in the Rosetta project, that the European Space Agency went a step further in order to uh, nurture this interest even more uh, by uh, coming up with three competitions surrounding the whole project, and we have some of the winners here with us of these competitions, and I'm sorry I have to leave you for a second because I actually have to grab a microphone, because otherwise you can not talk to me. Um, I would like to introduce you to, to uh, the winners that we have here, right in front of me here, right here, is uh, Dimitrios Grilis from Palini in Greece. You're the youngest, I would take it, of all of us here. And you won the first prize for the video entry for the Rosetta Wake Up. And we do have a little clip. Let's take a look at that one now. Brilliant. Congratulations, Dimitrios. We also have uh, Josef Dobrolowski from Poland. Hands up, that's you. You won the second prize, all the for the wake up. Uh, so congratulations for that. We have Emanuela Andreola from Italy. That's you, it's Emanuele, of course. Uh, you made the number one entry for the Rosetta, are we there yet? And I believe we have a still of a picture that shows you here uh, at uh, 4,061 meters above sea level, is that correct? So that's identical to the size of the comet uh, we are flying to, so that is brilliant, congratulations. And uh, also from Italy, Elisabetta Buonora. Now, that is easy for me to find out. That must be you. You won the second prize also for Are We There Yet? Congratulations. And last but not least, the gentleman standing here. Step a bit forward. I'm not quite sure if I can see you otherwise. Alexandre Brust from France, uh, who just a few days ago actually proposed the name for the landing site, formerly known as J, and now it's named Agilkia, which is the island on the River Nile and home of the temples of Philae. That is a fitting name. Uh, I know that you are a scientist, you're studying it, but what prompted you to actually take part in the competition and come up with a name that's got nothing to do with maths, which is obviously your, your, your main uh, topic? So, uh, actually, I'm teaching it. You're teaching? But, okay. Uh, so, I'm interested by uh, space activity since a long time, and uh, recently I went to uh, some uh, exhibition, art and science exhibition in uh, CNES in France, and one of the artists who were there uh, told me about this contest, so I look at the, the site and uh, I remember some of my ancient Greek readings and uh, some of French author readings also. And I knew about Philae, so I made some research and then ah, okay. uh, I put my name, uh, Agil Kia, and uh, I'm here in Darmstadt. Fantastic. And I like the combination art and science, because we often think of scientists as dry and boring. I think the Rosetta mission has shown that's not the case, and your entry has also shown that. Congratulations, uh, and I think that's worth a round of applause. Really wonderful. Thank you very much. It's good to see so much young talent.